Allah says, إِن يَكُونُوا فُقَرَاءَ يُغْنِهِمُ اللَّهُ مِن فَضْلِهِ You've chosen the right spouse. If the person is poor, Allah will bless them with his virtue because Allah is the one who owns sustenance. How many people have got their daughters married to wealthy people? Ten years down the line, they lost everything. So it's not to do with wealth, it's to do with the right person. And this is why the hadith says there are several things people look at. Some look at wealth, some look at looks. Your choice, yes, you must look at what the person looks like. Definitely, you have to live with them. At the end of the day, you have to be intimate with them. You're not going to go with those masks that they give out on Emirates and, and then, you know, be intimate with your spouse. No, you want to look at them. You want to see them. Yes, so you must be able to like your spouse. Definitely, but your decision must not be based solely on looks. There must be an overriding factor. What is it? It's not going to do only with the lineage. No, you can't marry them. They're not from our family. They're not from our tribe. They're not from our caste. They're not from this side. They're not e exactly, you know, so and so. No. Are they Muslim? Are they decent people? Do they have character? Let it go. Allahu Akbar. Let it happen. Do not be a person from the pagan days of ignorance. You know, Bilal ibn Rabah and his brother, radiallahu anhuma, they got to the community and they said, we are whom you know we are. If you are going to allow us to marry your daughters, alhamdulillah. If not, Allah will provide. Wallahi, they looked. Bilal ibn Rabah, a man from Africa, subhanallah. A man whom the Prophet sallallahu said, I heard his footsteps in paradise. It shook the people. They immediately got them married. That shows us that it's got to do with the nobility of a person. Look at the status of a person. You know, I've heard of people say, no, this man is a little bit too dark for my daughter to get married to. Come on. You can be as dark as charcoal, but if your daughter is up in the air, Alhamdulillah, she's happy. She's excited. What's the point of marrying the most handsome man, the wealthiest man, and your daughter is crying every night and she's cursing you. My dad did something very bad. I'll never forgive him. When you die, you are receiving the sin of what happened. Allahu Akbar. Why should that happen? This is the reality of why knots are being broken today. We want to tie it correctly. Well, understand the hadith says, yes, you may look at what she looks like. You may want to look at her status, her lineage. You may want to look at everything. Those are not the deciding factors. The deciding factor is deen. You want to be successful. You want victory. You want success in the dunya and the akhirah. Then succeed by marrying the one who has the consciousness of Allah in her or the consciousness of Allah in him. That is success.